Hey retro fans, welcome to another episode of Retro Gaming Memories. Um, in this episode, um, we're going to take a little look at two Atari classics, um, Centipede and Millipede, the sequel. So, um, fairly recently uh, I got some games um, which included uh, Millipede as a standalone cartridge. There it is, it's all very nice. Um, now, I had never played Millipede. Um, I was not really a fan of Millipede in the, in the arcades, to be honest. Um, I preferred Centipede. Um, but, you know, I thought Millipede, uh, we'll give it a go. Some, it's always something else to play. <clears throat> so I had a quick shot of it, and, and I, I really found myself quite enjoying it. Um, so I thought, you know what, I've not played Centipede for, for ages on the Atari. Um, so I thought, let's chuck it in and do a little compare and contrast and see what they're like. So literally I've, I've plugged in Centipede two minutes before I started this video um, and I haven't played it for ages so I can't actually remember how different it is to, to Millipede. Um, I have played Millipede a, a, quite a fair bit in the last couple of days, it's, it's been pretty cool. So uh, yeah, so I thought we would give it a go and uh, see see how it is. I mean, straight off, look at that, that's that's a lovely little sort of intro screen isn't it for, uh, for Centipede, it's very nice. Um, it's a minor disappointment that uh, the the mushrooms on the kind of attract screen aren't the same. You know they managed to draw the little mushrooms here, um, but they haven't managed to to do it on the on the actual gameplay screen. But do you know what? I don't care. That's all right. It's fine by me. Um, so let me check. Yep, just checking what other camera was running. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's give it a go. I do remember Centipede is one of the noisiest games on the Atari, it's ridiculous. Come on. So, oh, dodge the, the spider there, that's quite good. You should never camp out at the edge because guaranteed the spider's going to get you. A lot of spider in this game. What? I do remember someone saying the best way to play this is to kind of shoot, shoot two parts of the. Go away. It's a really hard game to talk during this. Oh, for God's sake. Right. Yeah, I do remember a strategy for this was to kind of shoot them and get them between two mushrooms and the, the whole centipede would come down uh, in a column, basically. Oh, go away! Oh. Very noisy game, isn't it? <laughs> but you know, that's what you wanted. Uh, I did say in one of my other videos it would be interesting to, to have a few Ataris set up side by side playing different games and seeing, uh, sort of recreating the cacophony of an arcade. So. Ah. Ooh, poison mushroom. Ah. I mean, it's still, it's still good fun. What were you? Poisoning my mushrooms. <laughs> I do, I do love how fast the cannon fires. It's, uh, it gets, it gets kind of crazy. It's, it's getting pretty frantic now, like. <laughs> And I've got this on easy setting. Ah, difficulty B, so it's on it's on easy. Um, but do you know what? I loved this back in the day on the Atari 2600. 
and I still love it now. It's it's still ah, it's still great fun. Go away, God's sake. Yeah, so I'll try and talk now that I'm not trying to play this bloody thing. You can't really talk and play this at the same time. Um, it's it's still quite frantic. I mean, it gets it speeds up pretty quickly there. Um, I haven't played Millipede recently. There's not a lot uh, of variety, I suppose. You know, in in centipede, um, you've obviously got the the, the scorpions that poison the mushrooms and things like that, and the spiders which are incessant in this bloody thing. Um, but it's still it's still a great great uh, great version of centipede. Um, you know, it's it's noisy and it's colourful and it's fun and blasty, and that's what you want from these classic games. Um, you know, and everything's there that you need. You've got your nice score flashing away and doing it. It's thing, and you know, you forget that you're moving a square. <laughs> you know, it's squares and lines, but at the end of the day, it plays. Considering the original was a trackball, which had really, you know, allowed you obviously really quick movements, it translates to the joystick really well. I have played this with a trackball. I've got a trackball for my for my twenty six hundred. It's not the official one. Um, it's actually like a pool cue ball, um, and it's translating to joystick movements. It's not brilliant because when you move the, the, the trackball, your character only moves a little bit. Um, so it's not as responsive as like arcade trackballs or anything like that. But like Missile Command, games that were trackball games, they've managed to translate them really well onto the uh, onto the joystick because it's still got that almost accelerated movement that you would have with a trackball. Um, and it's it's very responsive, which this needs to be. If this wasn't responsive, it was sluggish. It would be a write off. It would be horrible. Um, but it plays really well. <clears throat> um, so yeah, and what I was trying to say is is the the um, strategy that I've always heard is that you basically try and shoot a column of uh, of mushrooms, and then when the centipede hits it, it will basically just come down a straight line, and you can just sit at the bottom and shoot right up, um, and and get lots of points. So, uh, so yeah, so that was Centipede. Let's give Millipede a little go and uh, and look at the differences. Okay, so Millipede is in and uh, as you can see, there's a little bit more going on. The screen seems a little bit more condensed, actually. I've never noticed that before, but compared to uh, Centipede, it's a little bit more condensed. Um, nice Millipede logo there. Um, there's there is more going on. I've, I don't know quite why there's a, a coloured border down the bottom. Um, apart from it flashes when you die, which is quite nice. But um, not that it means anything really. I don't think it's got any bearing on the game. Um, but yeah, there's more. There's these um, these boxes. It's marked. I think it's DT. I'm I'm not sure what DT is, but it certainly it's like bug killer. Um, when you shoot the box, it blows up, and if the centipede or any other bugs go into the little cloud that, that appears, uh, they, they die, and you get the points for it, which is nice. Um, so there's there's a lot more stuff going on in this. You've got the centipede, you've got spiders, you've got uh, mosquitoes, you've got... Uh, what the hell else have you got? There's beetles, there's all sorts of, sort of creepy crawlies in this that all do different things. Um, and you do get like swarms of... Um, I don't think it's the mosquitoes that swarm you, but they come down so it's like a point pressing thing. You can get some pretty good points out of it. Um, so, just unravel my joystick. Um, you can, the game select on this, you can start, so zero is obviously starting at the beginning of the game, but you can change, so when you press select, it says se uh, select your starting score. So zero is obviously the starting game, but you can start the game at, uh, is it up and down? Yeah, up and down, so 140. What's that? 15,000, 30,000, so I'm just pressing up on the joystick. Oh well, up and down. So you can choose 0, 15 or 30,000 um, to start at, and that obviously increases the difficulty level when you start. So, um, let's uh, let's just jump in. You can press the uh, the space bar. Where did that come from? Sp press the, the red button to start, so let's give it a go.
So the the points buttons that you get the buttons, the points uh, icons that you get. Ah, rubbish. The points thing that comes up when you when you shoot stuff is is sort of higher resolution for want of a better term. <coughs> um, ah, it's all going it's horribly wrong. Your little box does kind of melt when you when you die, which is quite cool. That was pointless. Um, ah, come on! Oh dear God! That's a little beetle thing, and they poison. You can't then shoot the mushroom. Ah, no, no, no. The spiders are so erratic in this, it's it's crazy. It's really hard. So here's the little things, I don't know what they're supposed to be, moths or something, but you can, you can kind of point press and get quite a few points out of these. Ah, there's all sorts of things going on here now. Ah! So you get a point for shooting the mushrooms and I usually just sort of clear them up a little bit otherwise it can get a bit crazy with the centipede getting down closer to you. Ah! I try and keep this area kind of clear because that obviously as soon as the centipede or millipede hits, hits this area it changes direction so you have to try and keep it clear. Yeah, so there's a lot going on it. It's really hard, and I'm sure this is boring watching me playing a game, but it's hard to talk about the game when it's going because there's that much happening. Um, but, I mean, you can see there's more elements to it. Um, it looks a little bit more condensed. Um, I, I don't know why that is. It's obviously just the, the game screen. There's a lot more mushrooms and things on, on screen. Um, so it does make it a more frantic game because the millipede does then come down a lot quicker. Um, and when it splits and is going along the bottom and you've got the spiders running about and you've got these little beetles that come down because they come along so far and then they move back up the screen um, like that so you know you can be dodging all sorts of things and this creeps up behind you and bites you in the arse so um, yeah there's there's a lot going on because you've got these other things that fly diagonally and uh, then you've got the swarms of uh, I can't remember what they are but I mean look at that Jesus <laughs> so yeah <clears throat> it's quite crazy and you've got these kind of moth things that, that drop extra mushrooms and stuff um, so lot, lots of lots of cracking uh, elements to it and uh, it, is, it is good fun and uh, like I say I've spent quite a lot of time I've played this a few times over the last few couple of days um, and it is, it is nice it's it's more of the same of Centipede, but it feels like its own game, if that makes any sense. Um, you know, you play Centipede for the kind of simpler challenge. Um, and the weird thing is that I really quite enjoy this on the Atari. Um, I'll need to go back and try it in the arcade because I was never a fan of the arcade version. Um, but maybe this will turn me around to it. Um, you know, I always just played Centipede. I didn't see the point in Millipede. But it's actually, it's quite a lot of fun. Um, and they have... Certainly on the, the Atari, they've done, uh, I think they've done a great job. I mean, when you look at how much stuff is moving on the screen, there's no flicker, um, you know, which the, the Atari was synonymous for when there was lots going on because it had to, it's drawn this a line at a time. Um, so, you know, that's the thing, you know, I've, I've read like Race in the Beam and watched David Crane doing a talk about how you program the Atari. And, uh, and whilst it's not for everybody, um, it is amazing to think that basically this, you know, you talk about screen resolutions now being, you know, 640 before 80, which is the kind of resolution of the screen, the, the, the dimensions of it. This was, I think it was 128 by nothing. So basically what this is doing is it's drawing a line at a time. It's interfacing directly with the TV, drawing a, drawing a line at, this, at a time and putting objects onto each line. Um, so it's, it's bonkers that uh, the stuff they managed to pull out of it. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I'm not going to play another game of this because it's uh, it's boring watching me playing it and I can't really talk when I'm playing it because it's too frantic. <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to do a quick little uh, 
conversion, no comparison, that's the word I'm looking for, a little comparison between uh, centipede and millipede. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, you know, let me know what you think, do, which one do you prefer, do you prefer centipede or millipede? Um, <clears throat> did you have these back in the day, you know, but um, actually one thing is this is noisy, let's see. Yeah, I think the, <clears throat> yeah. I think the, they've, they've toned back the, the marching of the millipede. I think that's a lot more prominent in centipede. Um, and there always seems to be spiders everywhere in, in centipede. So, yeah, anyway, that was just a little thing I wanted to check. So, um, yeah, like I say, I hope you've enjoyed this. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you think, uh, which games you, you enjoyed. And uh, are there any more that I should do like this? Um, I've done... Uh, a Defender video, I don't know if that will be out before this, I'm not sure which one's coming first, but um, if that's already out you'll see Defender and Defender 2, um, and then uh, we've got this one. So if there's any other kind of sequels and things that you think I should maybe do, I've got a couple more that I'm thinking of, but um, let me know if there's any you'd like to see. And uh, yeah, so until then, um, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, all the usual stuff. And, uh, and I shall see you next time.